One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. What's up, everyone? It's Tom Dizzo here. I uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, today, we just had you know a really amazing weekend men mentoring session. Uh, you know, so if you missed that, uh, please uh, you know go back and try to read all the questions uh, you know from the members. I think it's uh, it's it's pretty good. And uh, also, you know, today I've saw like you know quite a few questions regarding uh, pre market trading and uh that's going to be my topic today and i would like to kind of you know address it a little bit in in more details um uh, if you know you haven't checked out james presentation on that one you definitely should so i'm gonna bring up some charts here for you and uh to go over that and in, in details with you guys okay so one other thing here so pre-market trading right there are i mean is it really worth it i mean uh you know uh you probably seen a lot of us uh you know trade in the pre-market and there are a lot of members asking me uh you know to see if it's really worth it right uh if it's really an edge or you know the pros and the cons uh you know from the pre-market trading and i'm going to lay out some few key points here uh regarding the pre-market and and uh, you know to me is it really worth it not really uh based on my experience based on uh on the time that i've been trading i mean uh pre-market so uh let's talk about pro uh, pros here first okay so the pre-market trading yes of course sometimes there are really some good entries that you can get from the pre-market no doubt about it and you know one of the example here we have on like mogo on friday i mean clearly right i mean you you get in here uh, you know 270 you know that's a pretty solid entry right and you couldn't get that at the open so that's one of the thing uh that i like about it uh, you know in the pre-market trading the second part i like about it is that you know uh it really sets the tone for the day right so if you up in the pre-market likely uh you're going to feel better about yourself you're going to feel better about you know that day trading because you're already up right your pnl is green and to be honest you know right at the open and you have that confidence in you it's going to boost that and pro likely you're going to you know make more on that day so that's based on my experience you know a lot of times when i up like not big but you know when i up like enough just to be able to pay for the locate uh basically you know if i'm up on uh, in 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 a pre market uh and <clears throat> i want to be able to pay for my locate so so now i'm not really under the pressure that i'm already down the day right uh and you know it makes it really easier uh, and uh that's one of the thing i like about it so uh you know sets the tone for the day uh you know usually a really great entries that you can get uh you know from the pre-market and also i think that's you know pretty much that's it you know in my opinion i mean you know for trading in the in, in the pre-market it's i probably would say you know it's straight up fomo and uh, it's fomo in the way that there are some certain edge right but the big picture here usually when you trade the pre-market because you don't want to miss out on the move right you don't want to miss out on the move because you think that at the open you might not get that entry so that's basically that's all there is right uh sometimes you see a lot of stocks you know that went up huge in the pre-market and then you know just tank straight down and i couldn't you know recall one of uh let me check out some charts this one is not really a great example but slmp i think this one is a pretty good one yeah as you can see here right in the pre-market went up huge uh to 140 uh, 45 i mean if you can get that entry uh that's pretty you know like you know you cannot top ticket but uh you know if you get an entry around here 130 137 i mean that's that's pretty good right and it's just ended up fading all day so 
that's one of the advantage about pre-market trading so first you know uh, solid entries uh, that you won't get at the open the second part is that uh, it's gonna set a tone for the day right you're gonna you know up on the day before the market's even open you're gonna feel you know confidence about yourself uh, you know you pay for the locate whatever it might be right so those are the key kind of facts on the advantage and uh, you know in, in, in the pre-market trading now we've gone over the pros and now let's talk about the cons okay and regarding the cons uh, there are more than the pros uh, you know if I would like to kind of say it uh, and one of the thing here is that the thing is about the pre-market the liquidity sometimes is it's it's really bad like there's not much volume traded like I yes of course you could get some uh, you know uh, like if it's a uh, you know day one hot check you're probably gonna get enough volume to get in you get out but due to the fact that you know first of all last liquidity and also the big the major point or like the the key point here in the pre-market is that you cannot put a hard stop which is you know stop market order right and you cannot just like slam the market order all you have to do is you know you have to kind of use the limit order i mean if you want to slam the bed or just put the fantasy out i mean that's fine but you know you have to be ready when it kind of hits your level and you have to you know hit that limit order stop out limit order right to kind of uh, you know stop out because you cannot use the market the terms the market right market order is for the markets open and if you want to trade you know before the market open or after hours you have to use the limit order okay so that's one thing uh, you know I've been hearing a lot of members asking about this so and so this is your like, explanation, okay? Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up, back to the video. So if you wanna trade pre-market, after hours you have to use limit order okay there's no way around it uh, and uh, you cannot slam market okay and uh, so um, the major uh, the key point here I mean the biggest advantage or like uh, you know the biggest disadvantage here in the pre-market is that you cannot put a hard stop on right so you have to kind of babysit your position basically throughout you know the pre-market until the open so a lot of the times uh, that I was trading in the pre-market, I mean, yes, I can, I have good entry and also that, but anything could happen, right? In the pre-market, you know, all it takes is, you know, uh, a chat room to get in, right? So stock could easily, you know, squeeze you or like some sort of news, right? And also an offering as well in pre-market. And because there's no hold, you know, in the pre-market or after hours, I mean, if there is, you know, a hold, it has to be, you know like uh, some sort of news like a big news t12 hold or something so it's gonna hold for the rest of the day or something like that but usually you know stock won't hold and it's gonna make it you know really e easy to kind of uh, you know skip up uh, your stop it, it could really easy go to the moon or it's just you know if you long uh, it could you know easily have an offering so the hard stop is the hardest part about you know trading the pre-market and <clears throat> one of the thing you know I don't like is you have to kind of babysit the your position right I mean if you trading the you know at the market open here you can easily put a stop order and, and forget about it right I mean just sit back and relax here in the pre-market you cannot do that okay and if you're not experienced enough right if you are new traders let's say you're gonna short some here right as, as a new trader because you have FOMO chasing whatever <clears throat> And the next thing you know, start kind of pop right to this line, and and now you panicking, right? You try to slam, you try to put market or a limit, or you don't know what to do after that. So this is something that, again, you know, we not recommend this for anyone. We no, do not recommend this, you know, especially to the new traders because, you know, you want to learn the process, right? You want to learn the 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 proper way how to trade. <clears throat> which is 
put a fantasy out moment it hits you know put a hard stop on right uh, in the pre-market you cannot do that as long as uh, you know you have more experience uh, you know you know what to do uh, you can easily babysit uh, you know the position you can easily have a discipline you know to get out when wrong yes you can do that it's all about you know predefined risk you see me bow me and James uh, you know trading like almost like every single day uh, you know sometimes in the pre-market right but we have a solid kind of predefined risk okay so let's say I'm gonna short here some and my stop would be over that 145 right so I would scale into this bounce and stop over this but you know I don't question my stop okay that's the biggest thing yeah guys so I hope it's helpful and uh, you know uh, if you like I said if you have any questions uh, DM me any anytime and uh, I will see you guys on the next one take care guys Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.